Johannesburg City asking different people about how safe do they feel in the city. My name is Natema Kanile and this is The Deep Question. There's money here in this town. There's money? There's like a lot it. of I don't like downtown. It's not safe. I like Marshall Town. This area is very safe. Not very safe, but it's safe. It's safe farm. Yeah, I do, I do, but there's some areas you don't feel safe, especially for your car, you know, where you park your car, you just don't feel that it's safe. You know? This part of the city now. Hey, I'm not a woman, how do I make myself a woman? I think, I think it is, you know, nah, I don't, but I think to a degree, you know, I think it is. Relatively, I mean, what how many incidents do I hear about women being victimized or you know, being victims of crime around Jumbo? I, I don't know, but I, to a degree, maybe rel it's relative. Let's just say it's relative that they say. As a woman, you know, you cannot, you cannot be in the city at night. You know, you'll be abducted or something like that, and. I, I think it, 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 it depends on how you handling yourself, but you must be more careful when you're in the city, especially at night. But during the day, it's okay. Some part of the town. Yeah. Uh, you know, like what they were doing, you know, the presence of, the presence of, of the law enforcers and them actually enforcing those laws, you know, it will make us feel safer, you know. I don't want to be walking here and I know Uti, that vendor is not supposed to be there, but now all of a sudden there's fruits, everything being sold there, where do I walk? No, I want it, you know, how am I safe there, there? You know, they must enforce laws, they must know those bylaws, enforce them. And then once those things are enforced, then we will feel 100% More security, more security. I know the security is in some of the corners, but there are corners that don't have security. And they should be well trained. And they should have guns. <laughs> what can I say? Okay. Uh, the buildings, the transport. Yeah. Yes, like, it's full. There are people selling. There are vendors like, around this, so it's no longer safe to walk. It's, it's full. It's packed, Jubek. It's no longer safe. This place, New, New Town, is, is, is a safety place. Okay. Like Brankfontein is a safety place. You can't say we are in the safety place like you are walking around the cultural centre. You see that mm -hmm. side, there's are many people there. Last time we were working at MTN with my friends, the, what do you call these people that they leave the street, they just put her earrings. Then they scratch her on the ear and she was bleeding. It's no longer saving job. We just come because we need library, it's far. So there's nothing we can do. We have to come to Chobek. Like lately I saw like there were police and volunteers like trying to clean Chobek, like, trying to remove all those people. It's better that way if they can remove all the vendors who are sitting around the street and leave like the stores who have who those who rent inside the shops. It's better that way it can be they can clear like most of the people, it will be much better than the way it is right now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the city of Cape Town and we are talking to women about their experiences of safety in the city. My name is Gordo Yeso and the big question is how safe do women feel in cities? It's a very divided city, depending on um, your class and your race and where you live. You can have a very, very different experience of the city. Um, I think I like the fact that it's so diverse, and when I say diverse, I mean the landscape. I love the fact that within 15 to 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, I can get to a place of beauty that is natural and I can get away from the harshness of the city which is very closing in. There's not much space always where you live, you know, and it is where you live. It's, it's very built up. Uh, it's just wonderful people here in Cape Town. 
don't feel safe at all walking in the city of Cape Town. Um, yeah, I tend to go everywhere with my car. I wouldn't even try to walk anywhere in the city. I just, I don't feel safe here at all. Well, no, um, I suppose for women to, to be in the city, uh, to be in the city after dark is not safe. However, I must say that what has been happening in the inner city, if you look, talking about the CBD, um, would be this attempt to clean up the city. And unfortunately what that means, uh, cleaning up the city means that the city makes policies that are anti-poor. So poor people don't feel welcome, or are not allowed in the city and are all treated um, as if just by being poor, therefore it means you are a criminal. I've never actually felt unsafe and I've been out at night time, I've been driving around in, in the car by myself, I've been driving around uh, with unlocked doors and actually in the whole six years that I've been here, I've never felt unsafe once. Um, I think that the large extent once it starts getting dark, I think most women don't feel safe. Um, doesn't even matter if you live in a relatively quiet area, you're always worrying because of the high incidence of sexual assault and battery and robbery and a lot of crime in Cape Town. Um, so you don't feel safe. You don't even feel safe in your house when you're sleeping. You have to make sure everything is closed, tight, locked, because there are so many burglaries and so many housebreakings and, um, what do they call it? Housebreaking was a previous body or assault or whatever, but there's always some sort of thing that happens. Mm -hmm. And you read a lot about it, you hear a lot about it, and it's a, it's a great possibility. Um, public transport is definitely not safe. Even even during the day, you, you, when you get into a train carriage, you make sure there are a lot of other people and you make sure it's just not only men, but there are a lot of women. So you travel only at certain times. You don't travel in off-peak, um, even on the buses, because there have been occasions where even the buses, the driver would just drive off with you if you were alone. So you, so if you're going to see, you're going to be the last passenger. Sometimes you even get off before. Hmm. The, it's your stop. Same thing with the taxis. You will never get into a taxi on your own. And if, if there's a woman in the taxi, the last woman that gets off, even if it's far from where you live, um, she will, you, you will get off with her. You will, you will rather get off with her and wait for another taxi. And sometimes you can't, and then you'll walk and you, and you'll try and get there first, but you're not going to stay there. So definitely, no, I don't feel safe in Cape Town. Even public spaces, although I like to get there, I will first check who's on the beach. What's my getaway? In the mountain, who's around me? I will not go on my own, and, and that's sad. Honestly, I, I would need to really think about it, and then I'd probably give you a brief on what could be done, but for right now, I'm really, I'm not sure at all. See, the other thing that needs to happen is citizens need to get involved. Sometimes you'll hear women scream, and people will continue walking or they'll continue driving. They won't stop and say, hey, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So I think it's both government responsibility, but also I would like to think that it's also everybody's responsibility because every citizen should act in defense of another citizen or another human being. But I know those things are going to take some time. And I suppose that's going to need a proper program where we start caring about one another again like we used to. But definitely in terms of in the interim, government can do a lot more about creating safer spaces. Um, they, on certain areas, for example, they have the CCTVs, but they're only, they're only in, in, in particular areas, and it's normally about tourists. And, and so where, where you go and where you live, particularly where you live, there's nothing. Um, the biggest single thing, I think, would be to have um, a good public transport system. Um, which we're starting to have, uh, but I, I, I don't think it's, it, it's enough uh, in terms of the frequency and the areas that they go into, and also the cost. Um, you know, we, we have a good transport system starting up, um, but the cost is, is, is still pretty high for, for most ordinary people to, to really be able to afford. Um, and it would go a long way to have a, a really good, affordable, um, public transport system. Um, also, uh, presence of the police or some kind of, um, 
you know, body that is visible, that is around um, if you're if you're having troubles or if you're worried about any, any, anything. And for that group to really be trusted by the public, that's extremely important. And unfortunately, I don't think uh, the public really have those kind of levels of trust in um, you know in, in the policing um, system as yet. Transport system would really go a long way to help women travel safely and soundly in and out of the city.